It was a shock like none I had ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly I found myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out into the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button and nothing happened. Then there was a noise. I was in pain, a horrible burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on and the elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then, it was destiny. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Tisk tisk tisk. Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? Judge! Oh, what? What are you doing? Do your job. Bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it! Very well. And that is it. It appears that we have come to a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, not guilty once again. And confetti once again, yeah! <laughs> so ridiculous. Confetti in a courtroom. That is all, the court is adjourned. December 28th, 5.38 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. It's actually 5.49 p.m. when I'm recording this. Nick, Nick, we did it! Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside he crushed him, Nick. Crushed. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Hey, it was pretty close, though. I was sure we had it. I know, I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. Uh, so it's finally over, Edgeworth. Huh? Oh, right. Yeah? I... I'm not sure how to say this, but... I know, I know. Try thank you. <laughs> I see, I see. The, 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 the thank you, right? Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> I think you could have done better than that. Both of you. Oof, sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. You got a lot to learn, Edgeworth. Dear, dear. Whoop! Amazing, pal! You pulled through just like I thought you would. I never for I'll never forget this. I owe you one, pal. And tonight, let's party. Dinner's on me. Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month, but who cares? <laughs> See, Mr. Edgeworth, you should take a lesson from Detective Gumshoe. That's how you say thank you. Um, I I see. Ahem. Whoop! <laughs> uh, I feel foolish. Don't worry. Take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Hey, y'all! Lotta! Y'all were great in there. Thank you. Yo, Edgeworth! Congrats! Er, th thank y'all very much. I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at you. You wouldn't stick your hand in the cookie jar even if no one was there. You... You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, let bygones be bygones, eh? <laughs> Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lada? Who, me? Oh, I went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Huh? Wait a minute. It couldn't be. It's over, Nick. My life is over. 
Oh, why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? Oh, Nick, I'm not long for this world. Huh? You don't look sick. It's Keonce. She She's going to live in Paris. Paris, Nick. She's leaving me behind. <laughs> Larry, Larry, Larry. Yo, Edgy, there you are. Um, yes, here I am. Congrats, Edgy. Here, a little gift for me in celebration. A celebration? That's unusual for you. Your hairy butts. You come along to not too. My treat, pal. <laughs> huh? Uh, oh, thanks. Looking forward to it. Yo, yo, Nick. That's the suit that questioned me. When he says treat, that's that that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? <laughs> uh, I think you'll be fine, Larry. Right. Yeah? What's up? That envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not that strange. People give money to any a way to celebrate sometimes. It's $38, right? Huh? What a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. $38 exactly? Wait, uh, Nick, isn't that... Wasn't that the exact amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? $38? No. No. It couldn't be. Larry, it was you. <laughs> What are you so surprised about, right? Huh? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored. He came into school anyways. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. I never was good at history. <laughs> derp a derp. Edgeworth, you didn't know, did you? I suspected. Oh, sure you did. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in the school. When something smells, it's usually the butts. I know, I know. Really, right? I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this is sure an unexpected turn of events, eh? Edgeworth. Huh? You should have told me. Now, now, Nick, it was 15 years ago. Don't you think that the statute of limitations has run out, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, God. I, I'd say so, yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nerdy attorney talk. I love it. There you have it. Grr. Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Well, I'd call you a goody two-shoes to the extreme. <laughs> yeah, and you get worked up too easily, too. Did a death. The death sentence for both of you. Man, if only I had become a prosecutor. The same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney, after all. Edgeworth. Want to switch, right? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Hey, y'all line up. I want to take a photo. Hey, photo time, let's go! And after that, dinner on me! Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom. Although Edgeworth was still in detention. Oh, so he didn't get to go? Well, that sucks, man. December 29th, 5.02 a.m., right in company law offices. Whoa, I went a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Do you have a hangover or something? Huh? It's only 5 o'clock. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Hmm. What's this? A letter? Maya? Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you, it made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I decided to go back to my training. I become a full-fledged spirit medium for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. Oh no. She left us? Goodbye? What time is it? Gah! The first trains for the mountains have already left. To the station. I 
I guess I'm too late. Hey! Nick? Maya! So, you're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And... I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? Wow. Hold it! <laughs> oh, classic Phoenix. Wait. What? I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes, only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped in Mr. Grossberg and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. You weren't the one who s you were the one who stopped in Von Karma, Maya. Huh? I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Evidence? Show me some evidence to cheer up. And it's the last one, the vital piece, the DL6 bullet. A bullet? Von Karma was convinced he had taken all the evidence to pertaining to DL6. You were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to complete my training and come back. Okay, I'll be waiting. Of course you will. You can't run that office by yourself. You're hopeless. <laughs> well, that's a nice turn of emotion. Uh, I don't know about that. Whoa, is the train leaving or something? So, bye. Bye. How sweet. Thanks, Nick. Such a nice photo. And so my story ends. Time to turn a new page. And say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. Ha! Don't think you've graduated yet, amateur. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim? Er, yes, your honor. Uh, uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> and that is it for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Really good let's play. My longest let's play. This is, I believe, part 60. So exactly 60 parts. Hey pal, Mr. Edgeworth came down to the precinct and wished me a good luck. Talk about a pleasant surprise. <laughs> he actually did that. He actually said, Woo! Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> uh... I'm not surprised he was embarrassed. Strange, huh? Yeah, they actually do this for all the main characters. But yeah, this was a fun Let's Play. I really enjoyed it. Kind of a transition... Uh, yeah, transition Let's Play, because I got a capture card about... Uh, of the last quarter of the game, pretty much. But I really enjoyed it. I would like to do the other games. And there is actually an extra case in this game. Which will probably end up being a whole its whole let's play eventually, because it's quite long actually for a single case, trust me. But yeah, that's about it. So there we saw Detective Gumshoe, Larry, and of course Payne. Ooh, right? Yeah, I remember him. I hear he's been busy lately. You know, not to ring my own bell, but I sort of taught him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Screw you, Payne. <laughs> Oh man, but this has been a great Let's Play. I would like to uh, just thank all of you that enjoyed it. And uh, oh, Phoenix Wright, hmm, uh, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that affidavit for, yes. Oh, you should know, I've taken over management of the Gatewater Hotel recently. Should he be in the area, please stop by. Oh, so he's, now we, he's the manager for the hotel. Moving up there, bellboy, nice. But yeah, this was a really fun game. I'm glad I did it. And hopefully I've shined some light on for at least someone out there that this type of game exists and it's actually very enjoyable. So, yeah. Alright, and of course, Grossberry has to end off with his famous quote, Oh, the days of my youth, this send a fresh lemon, you see. 
I don't know why that you see is not in the quotation, but whatever. Ah, uh, Masakasu Sigimori, thank you so much for the awesome music of this game. Oh, Phoenix Wright? He's he an actor? Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. Did you know that they blah 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 DVD blah 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 Hopefully we could all forget about her <laughs> in due time, because I do not want to remember her. And she does make appearances in the other two games, which is sad. I'm pleased to announce that Pink Princess is a hit. I sure owe that Mr. Wright a great deal, Sniff. Oh, and I'm keeping my face out of the public eye till the show's over. I won't. I wouldn't want to ruin any kid's dream, you know. <laughs> oh man, Will Power, such a good, cool character. But yeah, I really enjoyed this Let's Play. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you guys that, but I'll tell you guys one more time. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I got a letter from Maya the other day. It sounds like she caught a cold standing under a waterfall. I wanted to visit, but didn't have time. So I sent her some Pink Princess cards. She said she can't buy them where she is. What kind of place is she living at anyway? <laughs> uh... Alright, I believe they have Lodinex. Oh no, this guy. Right? Who's that? You wanna talk? Let's talk Pink Princess, alright. But, you know, I snuck into the studio the other day, and I saw her. The one inside the Pink Princess suit. Ugh, what a dog. It was kind of a shot for a boy of my tender age. <laughs> a boy of my tender age. Uh, he is so cl He represents, like, he's like the epitome of an outspoken ten-year-old. Complete honestly. Complete honesty, I mean. Yeah, I remember, right? That lawyer guy. Huh? Me? I'm in training to become a paranormal photographer. You know that picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them, there's a ghost. For reals. Now that's talent. I'm going to be famous. Already har har. There's a ghost. Well, there actually is a ghost. You'll see once they show it. I believe that's the last thing they show here in the, uh, the credits. There it is. Look to the left. It's Mia. Uh, victory at last. And with that comes the end of a great game that happens to be published by Pat Capcom. Yes. <laughs> Phoenix Wright is pretty much a flagship title of Capcom at this point because it's the last thing they haven't really screwed up. And now we're back at the loading screen. So press start and I'll show you guys Case 5 right there rise from ashes I will be doing that at some point just not next I wanna get a couple more games in before I actually go to that one so this has been AK47 Master I hope you guys enjoyed this let's play and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Sonic Adventure <laughs>